morning so i know i didn't do my video yesterday like i said i've kind of been taking some time to myself so it's okay but today i did some research on a fistula because i do still have that and it's uh um a little track that goes from my intestines to my belly and a lot of times with crohn's patient it goes to your anus so i guess i'm kind of lucky that i don't have it coming out my butthole but it's coming out of my belly. It's kind of like a second belly button is down there. Uh, and I have to change a bandage every two hours because it leaks. It's like this yellowy pus stuff. Sometimes it's brown. Sometimes it's green. I don't really know. It might be a little TMI for you. But anyways, that's what it is. So, <clears throat> a fistula. What is it? Crohn's disease may cause sores or ulcers that tunnel through the intestines and into the surrounding tissue. Often around the anus and rectum. These abdominal tunnels called fistulas are a common complication of Crohn's disease. They can get infected. Crohn's disease can also cause anal fish. Ew, gross. Anyways, what causes a fistula? Crohn's disease because the type of inflammation that is common in Crohn's can spread through the whole thickness of the bowel wall. When this happens, it can cause small leaks and abscesses to form as the abscess develop it may hollow out a chamber or hole so that's what happened back in august i had some complications and i ended up getting an abscess which then for went untreated and then finally formed a fistula now i'm still dealing with this fistula since september how serious is a fistula? Well, it's serious enough that it can cause a lot of discomfort and if left untreated, may cause serious complications. Some fistulas can cause a bacteria infection, which may result in sepsis. sepsis? I can, like I said, I can't ever speak. Uh, a dangerous condition that can lead to low blood pressure, organ, organ damage, or even death. Like, hello, I've been dealing with this since September. Can we do something about it? I'm supposed to go see my doctor next monday a surgeon to talk about the fistula and if we're gonna go do surgery to close it symptoms of this thing it's a consistent throbbing pain which i've talked about like that stabbing thing that i've been dealing with Ugh. that may be worsened when you sit down not a problem with me because it's not by my butthole remember move around poo or cough it definitely hurts when i cough that's because i've been smoking too much weed uh, smelly discharge from near your anus. Like I said, not by my anus, so I don't got to worry about that. And then passing pus or blood when you poo. Swelling and redness around your anus and a high temperature fever. God, if you also have an abscess. So it's just really not comfortable, guys. Like, it does bleed sometimes because I think it's irritated. I can't wear jeans that have a zipper or a button so i've ordered maternity pants smart i don't know why many of you don't do this because maternity pants are great for when you're bloated and you have your period and you want to wear jeans but you can't get maternity pants levi's amazon they were like 30 bucks i mean i got two pairs i might actually order more because they're super comfortable and i get to wear jeans my computer's reminded me that tomorrow is st patrick's day if none of you knew that uh, it has been a year since we've been in quarantine. Yeah. Anyways, back to my fistula. I'm learning something new every day. I've also started listening to a Crohn's podcast. Um, it's sponsored by the CCFA. That's the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America. That's a, a group that I tend to donate money to sometimes, uh, which will be coming shortly. And... Uh, yeah, I do walks to support. Actually, I just went for a walk today because I've been trying to exercise. I got to start exercising again because mentally I need to stay strong. So I started listening to this podcast. We'll see how that goes. Today we learned about fistulas. Tomorrow I'm not sure what we're going to do. But like I said, I'm still working on trying to figure out exactly where these videos are going to go. Right now we're learning. I'm learning you're learning. We're all learning. So continue with your day today. I'm going to actually get up now and be a little productive, kind of, not really. But anyways, have a good day. 
and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.